Welcome to the latest episode of Cut to the Chase. And today, well, the last episode was the last episode of my old mate Aaron Davis. And I am very excited to announce, well, not announce it, you can see Shane Cortez. <laughs> it's going to be my new co-host, our co-host for Cut to the Chase. So on a weekly basis, we'll still come to you with insights, you know, knowledge sharing, yeah. you know, anything that we can make your journey easier as an agent or as a professional in the real estate industry. And uh, Shane Cortez is the auction manager for Harcourts. Um, this is not a Harcourts podcast, Harcourt podcast, by the way, but I just wanted to introduce him because as well as like Aaron, you got a lot of knowledge. And I think today we should talk about auction to start this podcast journey. Well, apart from my children, it's the subject I like talking about the most. So, so I'm the same, by the way. Yeah. You want to see some pictures? <laughs> No, no, good. Um, yeah, I do want to talk about auction at the moment because the market is is uh, is heating up. It's changing, obviously. The, the, and I I look at my own personal spreadsheets and the amount of bookings that I have going forward. It's increased quite dramatically from the start of the year. So people are getting themselves into a position to bid. Mm. People are getting themselves into an unconditional position, and that's what I want to talk about today. Because sometimes they're there to bid. And what if they don't get to the right amount of money on on the day? What happens after that? Let's let's talk about that as well. Because one thing that I'm really strong on, I'm really clear on, is that as long as an owner has been given all of the information and all of the evidence to accept the price, then that's okay. I don't think anybody should ever be pressured to sell. I don't like stress sales, etc. I just like to give them information. So sometimes on auction day, uh, Diego, that means that the money is not quite where the owners need to be. And sometimes it's it's not a no, it's just a not yet. We need to divulge that information. Not, so Not for now, not forever. Not for now, not, not, forever. not forever. So um, I like it to go, if, if they're <clears throat> uncomfortable with the number, they can't see that for, they've had the time to make good decisions, then we just set the property aside and pass it in, knowing that we go to the next stage of a process. Now, I've just called uh, an auction uh, 10 days ago that, that passed in at, at a pretty good number, but it wasn't enough for the owner to, to pull the trigger. And it was a, it was a big number, right? And, um, and, and that's okay. We just set it aside. And with, within 10 days, that property sold on a multi-offer to both the highest bidder and the underbidder. And the underbidder ended up buying it because they both owner and, and buyer moved a little bit and adjusted their expectations and the deal was made and everybody's happy. So what I'm saying is if you go to auction, the number's not quite there for you. It's not the end of the world. It's not the universe singling you out. We just need to work, keep keep working and that's what we do. And I think as well, it's and in, in, you know we've talked about it many times in the past, but it's the system and process around auctions, right? Mm. Uh, I'm going to repeat myself, but I am so surprised, uh, you know, part of my role is obviously to train my team. Mm -hmm. I'm part of a couple of offices. The amount of time that I say, you got an auction, okay, have you got a reserve meet, uh, review meeting booked after the first week? And, oh, no, we don't. I said, why not? Oh, we haven't had time. Well, look, you're the agent representing your vendor on the market. You're doing a disservice to your vendor if you don't have a review meeting. We've just done a reserve meeting, mm -hmm. but the reserve meeting was obviously following the review meeting. Yep. So yep. you're lining things up. And it's not about conditioning the vendor. It's about giving the information, let them know what's going to happen, the what if. What if we get bidding? What if we don't get bidding? What if we get bidding but not at the right level? Mm -hmm. All of that. So they make an informative decision on auction night. Now, the next time we're going to be speaking to them is 10 minutes before the auction because yep. they're not in Auckland. So they know what to expect out of the conversation because we say today, well, then we've got to come up with a strategy post-auction. Are we going to do inquiries over it? Are we going to be pricing it? We're definitely not PBNing it because we've done this strategy with no price. But the point of it is that you go through these meetings, those three, four, five, how many meetings you have, a minimum of two or three meetings prior to an auction. And then you get to auction night and there is no disappointment because you set up the parameters of the what ifs. <laughs> and I call them the what ifs, right? What if? Let, 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 let's face it, the elephant out of the room, an auction is deemed to be a stressful environment to, to sell a property, and it's it's no less stressful than the other, We're waiting for someone to sell a house, but it is a it is a stressful environment, and I know that because I bought and sold as an auction advocate before, yep. my own homes. Um, I but bet the, you were stressed when you bought at auction, yes, though, right? Yes, I was stressed, and that's what and I'm that's saying. Important. I know that yeah. I know that it's yeah. stressful. So the way to alleviate that stress is touch points, and and it's and it's not about. I don't like the word condition. We don't use the word condition. We don't. We don't you and I, we, we use the word. It's just education. It's giving facts, and that's what we should be doing. Is just giving every owner all the facts in order to make informative decisions that is right for them and their family. And, and if we've done that job, then on auction day, there'll be no surprises and you'll be a much loved agent. Cut to the chase. Shane Cortez and Diego Tralia. Thanks for watching.